Okay guys, so I got it broken in here, ran it for five, five straight hours and uh, did varying loads under 50%. So now we're going to do our first oil change, get that break in oil out of there. I'm going to go ahead and get the drain plug out um, and we'll see what that oil looks like. I'm guessing it's probably kind of dirty looking. Well, it's not too bad. Oh, we've got it leaking out as you can see already. It's making a mess on my bench, but right into my pan there. And you know, you can see we've got some metallic shavings in there, so it's definitely good that we're changing the oil now. It's got sort of a grayish color to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain this oil out and uh, get back to you. Alrighty guys, so now that I've changed the oil, got new oil in there and uh, still got to tighten up these screws for this panel. I just did a quick two second run just to make sure the oil, the new oil is circulated. What we're going to do now is just check the spark plug and see how it's doing uh, and clean it off if necessary. Because uh, when you're first breaking an engine, it could foul up a plug with all those metal shavings. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pull that plug out and I'll give you guys a look. Alright guys, so there is the plug. Looks pretty good actually. Um, now this is some Chinese plug here, but I've actually had decent luck with these plugs and usually the way you can keep them in good shape is, uh, you know, every, oh, I don't know, anywhere between 10 to 20 hours I'd say, you know, get some sea foam and uh, switch this around and repeatedly clean it with a nice microfiber cloth. You don't even need to use a brush or anything crazy. Um, and all that carbon comes right off and then they keep working. Um, usually it's just that the uh, Chinese ones tend to foul up with carbon a little sooner than maybe like an NGK or something like that. Well, you just clean it and then you can keep the original plug. All right guys, I'm gonna clean this and put it back in, but uh, that has been the first service since break-in of the Amico AIG 2000 inverter generator.